can overheating of the testes lead to infertility this is a question we are answering today the rate of infertility has been increasing what is happening many a times it is thought that most of the causes is from the mother but approximately one in every seven couples the cause is from the man and there are a lot of reasons it could be low sperm count decrease in the transportation or abnormalities in sperm production and with overheating it leads to low sperm count therefore it can cause infertility so if you are watching us for the first time this is talk pregnancy with dr noella where we tell you everything about pregnancy and other women related health issues if you're new to this channel please click the subscription button and also the notification button such that if there's any new video you're going to be the first to receive it so stay tuned to the end and listen to what happens what are the causes of this overheating in a meal such that this should be avoided in order to prevent some infertilities which are caused by this overheating. Now, sperm production is very sensitive to a high temperature. Normally, for effective sperms to be produced, the temperature of the testes should be less than two to four degrees of our normal body temperature so there are certain things which can increase the body the temperature or at the level of the testicles affecting production of sperm the first thing is is divided mostly into the internal factors and the external factors with internal factors we have most especially um, fever if you have fever therefore the temperature at the level of the testicles is increased so this can decrease production of sperms during that moment and external factors what do we have the first external factors is you bathing in hot bath tops who are in contact with the fire and there's a lot of heat putting on tight pants for a long time we see these men who are usually going to play football for a they take a long time and someone some of them tend to put on these tight pants so if you put on all this it tends to increase the heat at that level now if you also have a varicose cell this varicose cell what happens in varicose cell is when the blood vessels at the level of the testes tend to distend because there is a blockage of these blood vessels that's the vein at the level of the testes so when it is blocked the distension of the blood vessels at that level tends to remain at that point and cause a lot of heat at the testicles so most of the times when we when men come and they do the test the sperm count and they discover that they have a low sperm count they must try to do an ultrasound scan of the testes to check if there is a problem at the level of the testes if there's an infection if there's an a varicose cell at the level of the testes these are things which can increase the heat at the testicles in addition use of laptops maybe large cell phones, tablets, which you take and you put on the, your laps. This also tends to increase the heat. We know it radiates a lot of heat. If you put your laptop on the table before you want to remove it, you discover that the place under beneath is hot. So if you put it on your laps, men who put these laptops, tablets, cell phones on their laps, they tend to increase the heat at the level of the testicles so once you increase the heat at that moment you're gradually decreasing the production of sperm count in young boys who have one testis that means that only one descendant the other testis remain up in the abdomen that is why your testes are down in your scrotum beneath your leg because it cannot be inside the abdomen once it is inside the abdomen it has the normal temperature of the body and like i said for adequate production of sperm count your your the production should be two to four degrees less than the normal body temperature so if it's your yeah, testis does not descend or one descends it means the other one remains inside the abdomen because normally doing for physiology for the testes to go down the scrotum 
it comes, it leaves from the abdomen and it goes down to the scrotum. So at times it could remain in and it does not descend. These are some of the malformations. And when it stays up in the abdomen, definitely it cannot produce sperm because the temperature there is inadequate. All this and it is heated. All this leading to low sperm production. To conclude, how can you prevent this? What can men do in order to prevent this overheating? Normally, before this overheating has to cause a long-term effect of low sperm count, it usually takes about three months of continuous exposure to this heat. So what is advised is that most of the times, men, if you're putting on tight pants once in a while, you should put loose pants. You should not wear tight pants all the time at always in hot weathers in hot summers always try to have your cool baths and have some coolers if you bathe in these bathtubs which have hot water you steam yourself in in hot water make sure that you have some intermittent times where you cool off in order to prevent this then if you have any it's good to do regular checkups if you have any of these varicose cells it can easily be identified and managed before it reaches a complicated state so all these can prevent also infertility caused by low sperm count due to overheating so if this was helpful to you please give a thumbs up to our video and if you want to have a private chat with me you can click on the link below and follow me and you can follow us on all social media platforms and we're here for you thank you very much and god bless you